welcome ladies and gentlemen to uh Ahina Kyoltus trashing day in f uh, festivities here in Ben Lamarov. and um the first singer in the under seven sing competition is going to be Liam Cotter. <laughs> from Balnamara we have Martina Spillane. Eileen Kelleher. Oh, 
Magoning bug. Number 10 in the English singing, we have Margaret Cotter, Noreen Cotter, and Jean Hubbard in the under 10. Now, would, would Margaret Cotter please go to the judge and tell her what you're singing, and Noreen Cotter and Jean Hubbard? Now, we have Margaret Cotter. Last night I had a happy dream, though restless where I be. I thought again, brave Irishmen had set all Ireland free. And how excited I became when I heard the cannons roar. Oh, Grumble Cree, I like to see all Ireland free what's more. It's true we had brave Irishmen, as every one must own. On hill or down, little sad feel true, Lord Edward and Wolfson, and also Robert Emmett, till they did not give o'er. Oh, Grumble Cree, I like to see all Ireland free once more. Now I can't forget the summer years that kept in memory still of the Wexford men of '98 who fought of an eager hill with Father Murphy by their side and his green flag waving o'er. Oh, Grumble Cree, I long to see all Ireland free once more. Oh, Grumble Cree, I long to see all Ireland free once more. And now, if we could have Noreen Cotter, please. I've a nice little cot and a small bit of land in the place by the side of the sea. And I care about no one because I believe there's nobody cares about me. My peace is as right and I'm free in night by a lassie who walks in the town. She sighs every day as she passes the way. Do you want your lullaby washed down? Do you want your lullaby washed down? Can't shine. Do you want your lullaby washed down? She sighs every day as she passes the way. Do you want your lullaby washed down? The other day the old landlord came by for his rent. I told him no money I had. Besides, it weren't fair to ask me to pay. That time was so awfully bad. He felt discontent by not getting his rent, and he shook his big head in a frown. Says he, I take half, but says I with the left. Do you want your rollaby washed down? Do you want your rollaby washed down? Can't shine. Do you want your rollaby washed down? Says he, I take half, but says I with the left. Do you want your rollaby washed down? And now we'll have Jean Hubbard. The sportsman of Ireland, too anxious for sporting, a word of advice I will give in to ye. Go down to Cork City, to the athletic sports fields, cause there you'll find Christy, the pride of the Lee. This he'll show you hurling like Finn or Cullen, to the name of this hero, proud memories ring. From Galway to Dublin, from Beira to Mellon, all Ireland are toasting the old Christie ring. 
bar bending and striking for doubling like lightning for points and goal scoring his praises we'll sing his hurling most glorious he's always victorious his cock staring hurler the ball christy ring great hurlers we've had from all over the county black rock judy colin sean ogan john quirk jack lynch is glen <coughs> rovers the bears and the red men the brave lads from carrick who never did jerk tipperary's pat stick and bellin and kinney the records of rexford and galway's mick ring John Keane of the Diocese, Mick Mackey of Limerick, they all must give way to the bow Christy ring. Far bending and striking, for doubling like lightning, for points and goal scoring, his praises we'll sing. His hurling most glorious, he's always victorious, his cock staring hurler, the bow Christy ring. The great hurling matches against Tip and Kilkenny, against Galway and Dublin, against Wexford and Clare, against Waterford, Limerick and all other counties. Our hero was famous, he never showed fear. Eight medals he has now, a record unbroken. A parlour he now must be surely the king. So let's all join together once last rousing chorus. Two cheers for the master of the bow Christy ring. Far bending and striking, far doubling like lightning, for points and goal scoring, his praises we'll sing. His hurling most glorious, he's always victorious. His cock staring hurler, the bow Christy ring. His cock staring hurler, the bow Christy ring. <laughs> Any more now for the uh, in only under seven and now only under seven we have Elizabeth Cather. No, Liz. Hold there, no, hold it. Bring away no good Liz. Shh. I have a big kitty, just seven years old. He walks and he talks and he does what he's told. He eats up his porridge before it gets cold. And Mamie says, Teddy is as good as gold. When I wash my teddy, I soap all his toes. His little black fingers and his button nose. I rub him and scrub him until his face glows. And I hope to bed my good teddy bear goes. And now we have Shani O'Mani. Oh, the summer time is coming, and the sweets are sweet thing blooming, and the wild mountain time goes around and on and near. Oh, the oh, oh, let it go. And we'll all go together to first mile mountain time all around the blooming heather. Oh, it'll go, oh, let it go. And that concludes the under seven competition. Now we'll start the under fourteens. <coughs> um, and now with the following under fourteen, please come forward to the adjudicators. Liam Cotter, Teresa Splan, Anthony Hubbard, Tim O'Mahony, and Patrick Burns. And now, if we could have please have silence, Liam Cotter is about to sing. In 96, when the moon did fix its beams or skull navor, when the planet Mars and the twinkling stars, they noted where each rose, with Saxon birds, they hit the earth where Cromwell 
Christmas crew were slain when the yeoman fled. They he left their dead in belly Shannon Lane. I paused for a while beside the stile near the churchyard of Fort Hill. Twas a night in June and a silvery moon o'er each rebel's grave they sail. Scenes of ninety-eight, which I now relate, flash through my youthful brain. I prayed for the dead and to rain fled to belly Shannon Lane. In Keating's lawn, in the morning dawn, when the barn was all aflame, I grieve to tell my three brothers fell. That's Michael, John, and James, and as my aunt Kate stood at the gate, herself and child were slain. My teeth still cringe. To have revenge for Billy Shannon Lane. This was the song my mother sung unto my youthful ears. While down her cheeks for weeks and weeks flowed hot and scalding tears. My brother thank forced me a pike to take the hills again and in Ireland's meet I am here to plead for Billy Shannon Lane and now we have Teresa Splain By lonely prison walls, I heard a young man calling. My little, they are taking you away, for you stole Trevelyan's corn. So the young Mike seeks the morn. Now the prison ship lies raging in the bay. Loo, lie the fields of ash and rye. Where once we watched the small free bird fly, our love was on a wing. We had dreams and songs to sing. Now it's lonely round the fields of rat and rye. When by lonely, by lonely prison walls, we watched the last falling as the prison ship sails out. Against the sky, for we wait and hope and pray for our love in Botany Bay. It's so lonely round the fields of Etten Rye. And now, if we could have Anthony Hubbard. A great crowd had gathered outside of Kilmainham with their heads uncovered. They knelt on the ground. Far inside that grim prison lay a brave Irish soldier, his life for his country about to lay down. He went to his death like a true son of Ireland. The firing party he bravely did face. Then the order rang out, prison arms fire. James kindly fell into a ready-made grave. The black flag they hoisted. The cruel deed was over. God was a man who loved Ireland so well. There was many sad heart. Dublin that morning, when the murdered Jim 
Und kann ich die Irish Rebel. God's curse on New England, you cruel hearted monsters. Your deeds they would shame all the devils in hell. There was no flowers blooming, but the shamrock is growing on the grave of James Conley, the Irish rebel. The four courts of Dublin, the English bombarded, the spirit of freedom they tried hard to quell. But above all in rose, the cry no surrender, Twas the voice of James Conley, the Irish rebel. And now we have Tim O'Mahony. Burns. By lonely prison wall, I heard a young girl calling. Michael, they have taken you away, for you stole the three villains' corn, so the young might see the morn. A prison ship lies waiting. and rye, where once we watched a small free birds fly. Our love was on the wing, we had dreams and songs to sing. It's so lonely round the fields of Atten Rye, but only prison walls. I heard a young man calling. No sing matters, Mary, when you're free. Against the famine and the crown, I repel the cut me down. We must raise our child with dignity. Vatten Rye, where once we watched a small free birds fly. Our love was on the wing, we had dreams and songs to sing. It's so lonely round the fields of Vatten Rye, by lonely harbor walls. She watched the last star falling. Now the prison ship sails out against the sky. Now she lives in hope and pray for her love in Bonte Bay. It's so lonely round the fields of Edinburgh. fields of Vatten Rye, where once we watched a small free birds fly. Our love was on the wing, we had dreams and songs to sing. It's so lonely round the fields of Vatten That concludes the singing, no. And um, while the ju adjudicator now is making up remarks for the singing, the um, yes, we could do that too. But we have a, a very, very special singer that has nothing at all now to do with the competition. She's the youngest member of Ahina Quarter. She's about two and a half, and she's under the table. <laughs> <laughs> Are we gonna sing? 
뭐야? 
Now, ladies and gentlemen, in the under 14, there has been a recall. Would Liam Cotter and Anthony Hubbard please come and sing a song? Again, for the judge. Uh, you equal marks, and she wants to decide between you. I know Anthony Hubbard will sing first. On July the 17th, in the year of 83, the greatest monster finally it was played in Parker Keeve. Supports came from Fernie, all on the roll. To see the men in red and white, they on the green and gold. The kingdom they were bidding for nine times in a row. They didn't get it easy for Cork left nothing go. For Max the captain, Christy Ryan, he had his homework done. The pennies that he must have thought the kingdom had a run. Cock played glorious football, they fought with tooth and nail. They showed their many football skills, they knew they would not fail. Lady Luke was at their side, they weren't all alone. But it took the men in the Red Brigade get carry off their throne. And Cock piled on the pressure, it's anybody's game. The scoreboard told its story, run far from fame. The heat began to take its stall, but Cork refused to die. They played again, their men from and they kept their spirits high. In the, in the dying moments of the game, the stopwatch had its say. With a free from 55 yards out, it surely made their day. The ball had struck the upright, and in the net it rolled. Tying Murphy with his scoring boots had scored a golden goal. Then the whistle it blew loudly, it blew a note of joy. The cock at last were winners and those flags were waving high. There's a lesson there for carry men, wherever you may go. Don't ever say you won the game till you hear the whistle blow. Three cheers for the men in red and white and those behind the scene. For cock at you as winners and it just feels like a dream. Three cheers for the men in green and gold. Those behind the scene. Let's don't forget to bring the cup on Monster Final Day. And now we have Liam Cutter. Oh, the lambs are playing in the field, and the tulips were in flower. When I left the home, I loved so well a fine mare, like at the hour. Before me was the Atlantic, to a home in Tennessee. And I left behind me the girl I love, she's a rose, a castle She may never be a beauty queen, she might never be a rose. But to me she is the fairest flower that in the garden grows. And although I'm in America, across the Atlantic Sea, sure I'll always love my Ross Common girl, she's the rose of Castlery. It's my knees that I did a lie in bed, and my thoughts are fondly go. To the lovely days when I walk my love on the road out by La her smiling face, her shining hair was a joy for all to see. It was a cruel day that I went away from me one castle She may never be a beauty queen, she might never be a rose. But to me she is the fairest star that in the garden grows. And although I'm in America, across the Atlantic Sea, sure I'll always love my rose common girl, she's the rose of castle I opened up the rose common hell that I just received today For to read about my native town and my friends so far away But the tears began to blind me as I danced across page tree It was a picture of her wedding day, the rose of Castlery Farewell to you, all Ireland, from here to the Shannon shore Farewell, wine and French bar, that I'll never see no more the cotton fields and the mountains must become the home for me. But I love, love my Ross Common girl, she's 
the rose of Cassidy. She may never be a beauty queen. She might never be a rose. But to me, she is the fairest flower that in the garden grows. And although I may never recall across the Atlantic Sea, sure I know I'll love my rose. Come on, girl, she's the rose of Cassidy. Sure I know I'll love my rose. Come on, girl, she's the rose of Cassidy. Now that concludes the singing competitions and I will ask our adjudicator now to give her remarks, please. <coughs> Ladies and is it on? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, now before I give out the um, final adjudication, I'd just like to say a few words. Now, I have adjudicated here before, and the one disappointment that I had today was that I didn't hear more singing, because last year we had up to 30 singers singing, and they were a pleasure to listen to. But I might just add that the quality of the singing here today was very good. We had a great variety in song from Christy Ring to my little teddy bear and um, there were a number of great Irish songs, old traditional songs and a lot of popular modern songs as well. Now I might add that it is not a traditional competition so there were no extra marks given to songs that would have been of traditional value but I might add that songs that are traditional are more difficult to sing and you know a, a greater style is is demanded in this and you'll be given marks for style. Now. Um, I think there's a merit due now to the people who sang here today because God knows there's a lot of distractions in this day and age. They could be easily at home watching TJ Hooker or whatever. But they came out here today and they stood there in front of an immense crowd and in front of that video screen there, which is no easy feat, and they sang their song. Now, I won't dwell on faults like stopping in the middle of the song or forgetting your words because nerves and young children, you know, they go well together from the middle of a big crowd. But I might just say that they're living in the middle of a Hina and they have great models such as Peggy Lynch here herself and Teresa Dinhe and I'm not surprised that there was such a high standard here today. Now I might implore them to keep on singing because a singing talent is a great asset. Number one from an entertainment point of view in that you're given a gift so give it back to the people and you give great pleasure and number two from a practical point of view in that when you're looking for a job afterwards a singing voice is a great great asset altogether to have and for instance if you're going for national teaching or something like that you know a singing voice is something up your sleeve you know and even in the bank you know they're looking for singing voices when they enter competitions because talent is always appreciated now I think I'll get down to the um, nitty gritty of the details. I'd just like to pass one or two comments now on, on each singer, you know, just to, and this is all constructive criticism. This now, if I say something to you, it's that you'll keep <coughs> in your mind and to remember it and to improve yourself. Now, we'll go first to the under sevens. This was mixed. We had two singers here. We had Elizabeth Cotter, who sang I Have a Big Teddy. Now, this is a nice, steady singer. She stood there in the middle of the floor and she gave her song and she had a nice, sweet song as well. Our second singer was Shawnee O'Mahony, who sang The Summertime Is Coming. Now, this was a very hard song for a young boy to sing, but he has good potential, even though he stopped in the middle of it. I think, you know, he deserves a round of applause. So. <laughs> no. um, the final marks for that were um, Elizabeth Cotter got 76 marks, and Shawnee O'Mahony got 74 marks. So come up now, Elizabeth for your prize. Good girl. First prize. And Shawnee. Shawnee. Good man, Shawnee. Well done. Good kick. <laughs> now, our next competition then was under 10, mixed singing again. Now our first singer was um, Margaret Cotter and she sang Grand McCree. Now Margaret now was a good steady singer and she had a nice song and I, I must compliment her on good phrasing. Um, she gave a good performance in all and I gave Margaret 86 marks. Our next singer then was Noreen Cotter and she sang the popular Do You Want Your Old Lobby Washed Down. Nice voice again and a very young singer and I gave Margaret, 85 points. Then we had Jean Hubbard. Now, really now, I must compliment this singer. He's a very good quality of voice. 
Uh, he sang a popular song. Um, I think that he just took it a little too fast, the piece, you know, slow down the next time you're singing it. But um, for the song Christy Rink, which was a good choice of song, I gave 89 to, to Jean. So first place to Jean Hubbard. <laughs> Second place to Margaret Cotter. Margaret, who sang Grow McCree. Good girl. <laughs> now, we'll go on out to the Irish competition, which is an open competition. Um, our first singer was Liam Cotter, who um, chose a very difficult song, Kosha Wunt Lenachima. Good song, very good song. Um, good singer. Um, he had a very good range, this singer, you know. He started high, but he was able to hit all the high notes perfectly. Well done. Um, I think, you know, your rhythm there, when you're singing an Irish song, you don't want to go too waltzy, all right? A lot of um, tr good traditional songs, like Kosha and Gl Glenna Kima, are sing to waltz time. Now, that's, that's not on, really, if you want to sing a traditional song. You know, use the phrases and think of the words that you're saying and you say them per phrase right and per sentence not at a set beat okay um i gave liam cotter 84 for his um, rendering then we had martina spillan who sang alui alua i'm not really sure how to pronounce it but um this is a lovely song now it really was a nice lullaby and it was a nice easy song for such a nice sweet singer to Thing. Uh, I think she was a little shy, but that's understandable when we're in such a big crowd. I gave Martina 80 marks. Now, our next singer then was Kay Coakley, who sang again Kosha and Lana Kim. Now, really, this is a very difficult song, you know, for a young girl to sing. But she had a lovely, sweet voice, and she, we only heard half of it, but then again, nerves, you know, in a big crowd. And um, a, good, a good, steady singer, really. I gave um, Kay Coakley 78 marks. Now, our final singer was Eileen Keller. She sang Makira Vaughan. I think Eileen had a problem that she started too low, but um, I'm sure if she started higher now the next, next year that, you know, she'd do herself justice. But she had a nice voice, and I think she has great potential, Eileen. And I gave Eileen 71. So that means so, um, our first prize winner there is Liam Cotter. Full of us. And second prize goes to Martina Spillane. <laughs> Martina. <laughs> now we come to the, the competition of the day as far as I was concerned. Well, now it was with great frustration, coming to frustration point there at one stage, I had to recall back Liam Cotter and Jean Hubbard. Now, Liam Cotter was our first singer who sang Belly Shannon Lee. Now, very good song, this. Very good song. Johnny Cronin is one of the great singers of that song. He's from Drina, and um, he's won many of the All-Ireland, and that's one of his favourite songs. Um, a very difficult song to sing, right? It's high range again, but you were well able to cope with the range. Um, good style. Very good style. And um, you improved this time in that you didn't put it to walls time. So, you know, you have good potential there. Then Anthony Hubbard came along and sang J he sang James Connolly. Now, this is a good song, a very popular song. And I must say about Anthony Hubbard that he had the finest quality of voice that I heard here today. Bulabos Moore, though. Now, Anthony sang last year as well, and I think he's improved. His voice has improved. It's really a beautiful, sweet voice. You could listen to it all night. Um, and he had lovely expression, which is another thing I might add. Gee, um, Liam Cotter had beautiful expression and great use of his hands when he was singing. Now, then we had Teresa Spillane, who sang The Fields of Aston Rye, and um, a very nice, popular song, and she had a nice voice. Uh, I think the crowd got on her nerves and that she changed key, but she's good potential as well. Um, then we had Patrick Burns, who sang the same song again, Fields of Aston Rye. He had a good steady voice and a nice pace and rhythm and good phrasing by Patrick Burns. Um, I think that, Patrick, you have a problem in that you hold on to the notes. Where are you, Patrick? Um, is he? <laughs> oh, Patrick. Yes, well, now you're fair juice. You're a good singer. I think you're just inclined to hold on to the notes too long, all right? So make it a little faster in future. But I must compliment um, Patrick on his singing voice. It's very good and strong. Our last, oh yes, then we had the recall between Liam Cotter 
and Anthony Hubbard. Now Liam Cotter um, sang The Rose of Castlery, a very good rendering and great potential. This, this man now really has great potential and a very good range. Um, our Hubbard, Anthony Hubbard, sang The Monster Final. Now I heard this song again last year and it was a wonderful song, great spirit in it. The winner was Liam Cotter for his potential. So, Bola Boss Morda. Now, really, if I could give another first prize, I would give it to Anthony Hubbard because he had the nicest voice of the day. One of the nicest voices I've heard in a long time. So, Bula Boss, Bula Boss Morda. Second prize. And now we'd like to thank Helen Hellesey of Kilmurray for her such very, very good adjudication. And now if the li little children would get ready, we would start the dancing. Um, could I have the oh, Hubbard. Could we have quite... Under seven is... Our dancer, sorry, is Norma Hubbard. Norma Hubbard, please.
können. Under 14, we have Liam Cotter and Maria Shannon.
Now, while we're waiting for the results from our adjudicator, Miss Deneen from Dripsy, a former All Island champion herself, we'll have the Dripsy set dancers. Now, these have a different style of dancing to the melancholic set dancers. So, if they could please come out now and show us what they can do.
Now, on behalf of Hina Coltus, we would like to thank both the Bell and Colleague and the Dripsy Sets for appearing. Now, there's a lady here in Bell Namarov, and during the week, past couple of weeks now, she's been training a set, a half set. Mrs. Moynihan's half set. So, if the children would please come out and dance Mrs. Moynihan's half set. Now, and after seeing the two sets today, it might encourage her to keep going and she might get more pupils. So could we have Mrs. Minan's half set, please? Oh, that little that little part was only a week they were only a week learning that little part now the results of this the um, figure this the figure dancing competition is ready now and i will ask mr neen to give the remarks well i just like to say one thing about the dancing is that I'm just sorry that there weren't more boys partaking in it as I think that uh, male dancers are, uh, they look very well and they are excellent dancers as well but I thought the standard uh, among the dancers here was very good and I was hard put to make my decisions especially on the under 10 group as there was such a large amount of them in comparison to the other two groups. However to get down to business there was only one dancer under 7 and that was Norma Hubbard so I will award, without any further ado I'll award you with the first prize. Under 10, first, uh, Kay Coakley. Second, Anne-Marie Healy. And third, Norma Healy. Uh, in the under 14, there were two competitors, and I was delighted to see a uh, boy among them. And uh, my decision... There has been first Liam Cotter. Congratulations. And second, Murray Shannon. That's all I have to say. Now. No, that concludes the. Um I can't even think of what I'm going to say. <laughs> I can't even think of what I'm going to say.
to close the proceedings for today. We're sorry that it rained. We should have a better, we hope we'd, we'd probably have a better turnout if it was fine outside in the field. But we'd like to thank the priest for the use of the school. And of course, we'd like to thank Lena Minehin for the use of her field previously. And of course, if it had been dry, we'd have been out there. And uh, I think we'll go down out of the trashing. There's, there's a lull in the showers, a bit. And outside the door, we have an auction now at the Wheel of Fortune. So if all the ladies especially would go out to the Wheel of Fortune, you might get a bargain. <laughs> thank you very, very much. Thank you.